So I call the systems that make these shapes crystal and automata. I found these kind of systems quite recently and as you can see they make some really quite interesting shapes. The idea behind these systems is to start with a simple seed and then let the computer grow the thing and just by applying simple rules you get these really elaborate shapes which you can then 3D print. In some ways the systems are quite similar to cellular automata which are the things that made these. So three-dimensional cellular automata have been studied for around 10 years and the basic idea is that you start with something like a little cube and then you just keep applying some simple local update rule something like make a cube solid if there are three solids touching it or something like that and just by applying some very very simple rules you can get some really really immensely complex structures and one of the interesting things about these 3D objects is that there's going to be lots of complexity inside so I mean this looks very elaborate from the outside but if you sliced into it you'd see an immense labyrinth of different things within. And these crystal and automata, they also have very elaborate interiors, but they also have a very another very interesting feature. Well, some of them do. They have parts which stick out and cavities with really non-trivial forms. And what this means is that you can actually do interesting combinations like you can fit these things together so this particular crystalline automata if you get another copy of it then it hooks together with it so these things actually make interesting kinds of building blocks and there are several crystalline automata that have this very interesting feature and also you can see that some of them are fairly interesting artistically and they can also perhaps be used for other things like containers and such. So in general these crystalline automata have a kind of tetrahedral symmetry um, which you can see most obviously with this one. And so that gives them a certain kind of strength because they have lots of triangles inside although on the other hand sometimes they can have parts which stick out which can create weaknesses. So one application of the original cellular automata um, is as containers or perhaps as something like a lampshade or something. Maybe uh, this one is a better um, example of that. There are hundreds of thousands of these crystalline automata and um, I think it'd be a very interesting project to try and find more interesting applications for them. So if you want to get any of these models, I shall put uh, many of them on Thingiverse and also you can find them on Shapeways and so you can buy them off Shapeways if you want to get them mail ordered or you can just download the 3D printable files for free off Thingiverse.